We gotta think of a way to stop them. Stop them? Let them go. I don't like them anyway. No, no, we gotta stop them. Hey, the stew. Oh, that won't be done for an hour yet. Yeah. Then it'll take time for the sleeping pills to work. Say, how long do you think it'll be before they take effect? Oh, uh, the slightest idea. Hey, you yawn, you yawn. You better eat some more bread. <laughs> I swear, you'll be asleep before they even start to eat. And I'll be left alone out on a limb. Fine pal you turned out to be. Uh, don't be silly. I'm not sleepy. Then stop yawning. Yeah. Gotta figure out a way to get word to the police. Oh, who's got the telephone? I could feel his way along the wall here and... Uh, now I'd have to go all the way around the corner of the building. Well, then where would he be? Well, he could climb into another apartment window and get to a phone. That's an idea. Uh, who'd be stupid enough to try it? It's an impossible idea. <sighs> In our business, nothing is impossible. <sighs> Paul, where are you going? Out the phone. Shh. The neighbors. Like, look out. Uh. Paul, come back here. Look out. Look out. Don't worry, Larry. Don't worry. I'm all right. Well, I just told her, I said, Gwendolyn, I'm not going with you. If you're going to wear that tight little belt dress, I'm not going. The darn thing's up when it should be down, it's down when it should be up. And I just told her, I'm not going to have myself talked about when I go out. I have a reputation to keep up. I can't keep it up and keep the dress down, so I just told her, I'm sorry. After all, somebody had to tell her, so I figured... Pardon me. Well, <laughs> what is it? Should I use your telephone? Or? Use my phone? Look, can't you see that I'm busy talking on my telephone? What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Gwendolyn, I should call you right back. Oh, see, what was I supposed to do? Oh. <laughs> Place. Frank, you take the building opposite. Tony, you get your men around to that apartment in the rear. Those two guys, they got through somehow. Oh, Joe, we haven't got time. Besides, how could they? They can't fly. I guess you're right. Come on, let's get out of here. Over there. <laughs> hey, what do you 
you think you're going to do, be a hero? <laughs> no, no hero. <laughs> Just a cameraman. <laughs> Hand me the phone. <laughs> what do you want to do? Who do you want to call? I'm going to call the police. We're, sur we're surrounded with him. You want more? <laughs> Hello, police? Can I please talk to the police? Hello, police? I don't seem to be able to get through to him. <laughs> oh, what a dirty, tricky rip on our telephone cord. Hey, listen. You stopped shooting. I think we're dead. You boys all right? Yeah, we're fine. We caught the mad dog and the girl. Oh, I'm so relieved I could cry. <laughs> Look at our apartment. What a mess. Well, there's one thing we can be thankful for. Yeah, what? We've got the whole story on film, from the escape right up through the capture. It should be worth a lot of money. Yeah, they might even use it for a documentary film. <laughs> the Mad Dog Reese story. <laughs> hey, look, he left his luggage. Oh, boy! A machine gun! <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, boys. Glad to see you. Here's your check. Hey, he gives us the advance before we even asked for it. Five hundred dollars? What's that for? For the films on Mad Dog Reese's capture. Oh, but I ruined those pictures when I shot them up. Well, you may have ruined your films, but you were evidently a little confused when you called the police because you called me by mistake. So I called the police, I sent a camera car out, they got the pictures, you get all the credit, and this check's a little token of our appreciation. Oh, I don't know, Mr. Harrison. I think my partner and I better talk it over. Paul. We talked it over. $2,500. I uh, don't know how to thank you, Mr. Harrison. If there's anything we can ever do for you, what? There's a sleepy little island in the South Pacific called Malu. Now, we furnish transportation, planes, everything. All you have to do is loll on the sands and wait. They'll be along in a few days. Oh, boy, the South Seas. Who'll be along? The government. We had a surefire tip. They're going to make some more H-bomb tests. <laughs> Boys. Remember your motto. <laughs> yeah. Have, have camera. camera. We'll travel. <laughs>